The Lamu County government has lauded the move by the British government to lift travel advisories that had been imposed due to insecurity at the northern part of Kenya, of the Kenyan coast rather. Here is more on why hoteliers are a happy lot following this recent development. The tourism sector in Lamu County is showing signs of improvement just days after the British government withdrew its travel restriction. The advisory restricting travel affected Lamu and Manda Islands, which are key attractions for foreign tourists. I think this is the first step. And um, uh, we have had um, a number of um, meetings uh, with the British High Commissioner, uh, both here in Lamu and in Nairobi, and most recently in Mombasa. And uh, in all those meetings, I have been raising this issue. So I was pleasantly... Uh, happy to see uh, that um, action has been taken and this will go a long way uh, to stabilize uh, Lamu County. Last week, Britain's Foreign and Commonwealth Office announced the lifting of its travel advisory and instead saying that the tourists from the UK could now travel safely to Lamu and Manda Islands. We want to thank the British government, we want to thank uh, the ambassador to Kenya, the High Commissioner, Nick Hive uh, for facilitating uh, in the lifting of the travel advisory. The advisory, which had been in existence for more than five years, came as a result of insecurity in the county owing to constant terror attacks and kidnapping of tourists by Al Shabaab militants. Following the lifting of the advisory, the county is reported to be enjoying a surge in hotel bookings. Lamu County Governor Isa Timami also noted that the improvement in infrastructure by tamaking the Lamu Malindi Road will open up the area for easy accessibility and increased airlines in the region, where a new airline is expected to start plying the route from Wilson to Moi Malindi and Manda Airport to just increase the numbers of local and international arrivals. Abiyagina, KTN News.